In this video, I want to give an update on my experience with my Sony VW325ES. I've had this projector for about three months and to get right to it, after three months, I still love it. I came from a BenQ HT3550, which in my personal opinion was a fantastic projector for the money. I'll leave a link to the video review of that in the description below. The 325ES blew me away when I first saw it in my home theater. And coming from the BenQ HT3550, the difference between the two projectors was stark. The 325ES was such a huge step up in video quality. I did tinker quite a bit with the picture settings, nothing too crazy, just trying to dial it in as best I could to what looked good to me. It took a while, but I finally settled on the settings. This particular scene is good. I like how the only light is from above and hitting the actor's face. So there's some brightness and lots of shadows and dark elements too. The projector does a great job here. Here the projector does a great job picking up the detail of the leaves on the bushes and the rocks on the gravelly path. And in this close-up of her face, there's so much subtle detail. The projector is picking it all up. The lines on her face, the pores, some blemishes, subtle color change in her skin. This scene transitions from dark to light. The black stays black while still getting the vibrancy of the light as the doors open and a lot of detail in the crowd and I like the contrast here. This is a tough movie. The entire movie is dark. Every scene is dim and shadowed. If you don't have a capable display, you're gonna miss a lot of this movie because you won't be able to see it. But the 325ES does a good job. It could be a bit better in some scenes, but it handles the movie as a whole very well. This is a great example of how bright but controlled this projector is. This is a bright scene, but nothing is blown out. A megaton of clear, clean detail in the scene. I could see the gravel and every granule of dirt on the table, the wear and age on the snow globe, and the lamp base. The resolution is outstanding. It can throw a razor sharp, clean, clear image. It can produce very deep blacks, really impressed with that. And motion for sure looks smooth. I would like it to be a smidge more bright, some more lumens, and I think it'll add more vibrancy to a larger screen like mine at 120 inches. Please don't get me wrong, bright scenes can get bright in my dark room, but I would like a bit more brightness to really help HDR pop and add to the vibrancy of the picture. As deep as those blacks are, shadow detail could be a bit better. And I'm being super picky here. Shadow detail is good on this projector, but I believe it could be better. And that's more of a processing thing, I believe. Maybe there's a trade-off that has to be made for an otherwise beautiful picture where the occasional super dim, dark scenes are gonna lose some detail and information. Those are the big ones. And again, that's me nitpicking. I don't wanna give the impression that this projector is too dim because it's not. It gets plenty bright. Same with shadow detail, it's fine, but there are always little things that could be fine-tuned. And that's my review after owning it and spending quite a bit of time with this projector over the past three months. I am also excited about the XW5000ES, which I plan to experience firsthand in my own home theater and do a full comparison and share with everyone. If you have any questions or comments about the Sony 325ES, please put them in the comments below and I'll definitely try to respond.